Heston, what's the mindset going into Georgia with uh, the team on the brink of maybe doing some good stuff, you know? You know, we're just focused on the hand at test. We're going in there, win some games, play hard, and have some fun. You hear the people talk about you guys being a potential national seed and stuff like that? Uh, yes, sir. We, it's everywhere, so of course you can't keep your head out of it. You're going to hear it a little bit, and you just kind of got to brush it off to the side and just keep playing baseball, and that'll take care of itself. Carson, you had a couple of low for five days in the last couple of weeks, but you followed them up pretty well. What did you what, what did you think of that and how you've been able to respond? You know, it's just the way baseball works. You're going to have days where you go 0 for 5. You're going to have days where you end up with four hits, a couple extra base hits. You just got to learn from the rough days and keep your head up and keep playing. Casey Morgan, what have you thought of what he's done alongside of you this year as a freshman? You know, it's been awesome to have another freshman right alongside. We're both helping the team out every way we can, and it's just been great. And also, we're roommates, so it was always fun to be able to talk with him about game plans and like certain pitchers and stuff like that in our dorm room. What's that like, room with him? You know, it, it, was, it was a blast uh, throughout the year. Him and I, uh, we talked a lot of baseball and also just had fun uh, getting to know each other. You guys are pretty highly regarded coming in, but doing all this, you know, hitting the way you are, have you surprised yourself at all? Uh, I want to say I surprised myself. I always hold myself to super high expectations, and uh, now after what I did, I'm going to hold myself in even higher expectations. It seems like being talked about as one of the best freshmen in the country. You know, it's it means a lot, but at the end of the day, it doesn't affect me. I'm still going to go about my business and take care of work and keep getting better. Uh, how do you fit, fit in with, you know, there are obviously a lot of good veterans on this team. I mean, did they kind of take you under under the ring right away? Or what, what was that like? Oh, yeah. It's, and... Day one, everyone started taking you under their wing and kind of helping you out, get you adjusted to college and everything. It was amazing the way they treated me. This obviously is longer than a high school season. In other sports, there are a lot of guys in the freshman wall. How are you feeling physically and mentally at this stage of the season after playing so many games? You know, I'm crap? feeling strong, and I've been having a lot of fun playing, and I'm ready to keep playing. So. I wonder, do you have any, uh, you know, baseball is such a game with superstitions and routines. Do you have anything you do, any pregame rituals or anything you do? I don't really have any pregame rituals at all. I try to stay away from the superstitions because as soon as you stop doing one, it'll probably get to your head, so. If you're in a hot streak, do you do tie your shoes the same way or wear no. the same socks? Hot streaks, man. I'm just keep hitting the ball every day. So, just, what have you seen as the difference in you guys at home and on the road with the difference in the records and, and how you play? You know, at home on the road, uh, at home we've probably been played a lot better defense and been more sound hitting. But also, when you look at it, we've played some really good teams on the road. Like we played Old Miss at their stadium. We played Florida at their stadium. And those are great teams. And you know, it's just the way baseball falls. And we're looking to go out on the road this weekend and win some games, so. Did you know Casey at all before you got here? Did you guys see each other in the summers and stuff at all? No, I didn't know Casey at all. Uh, I saw him on the official visit, but him being from Arkansas and me from Texas, we never ran into each other in showcases or tournaments at all. Did you guys just kind of become roommates because you're both freshmen? How did that come about? Uh, they, just, they just put us together and we rolled with it, and it, it worked out good. So the fact you guys are both having such good seasons, do you all talk a lot of ball and uh, I don't know, give each other hitting tips or whatever? We talk a decent amount, but you know, once you get away from the field a little bit, we try to uh, escape from baseball just a little bit. and just hang out, watch some TV, do whatever. What's made him have the kind of success that he's had this year? He's, what have you seen from him? You know, he's he's an advanced hitter. He's been hitting all pitches from the fastball to the curveball and changeups, and he's been hitting for power too, and that's, that's what you got to do to be an elite hitter in the game, and it's fun to watch him do that. What's been the biggest adjustment for you going from high school to college, and how have you able to you know, maintain those level of success? You know, high school to college, uh, Every pitcher, every pitcher you face is good. They're all throwing around 90 with good breaking stuff. So you just got to adapt and change. You can't get beat by the fastball and you can't get fooled by the breaking balls here. And normally in the bat, you'll get one pitch that you can drive and you can't miss it. Defensively, do you think you've improved? Defensively? Uh, defensively, yes, I've improved. But this year, uh, I'm not satisfied with the way I've, my defense has been. I can improve upon it more. and. That'll be the goal from here on out. 
He had that five strikeout game at LSU. The next day, I think he went two for four. And Dave Van Horn talked about how you bounce back. You know, it was a tough loss. Hey, I'm assuming you never struck out that many times in the game. How did you deal with that? Yeah, that was the most times I'd ever struck out in one game. And, you know, dealing with it, I just embraced it, owned up to it. You know, it happened, learned from it, and then bounced back, came back the next day ready to play another game.